32. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And thy power caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea a dry land. And the waters were divided. 62. And the ages, children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground. And the waters were revolved. Thank you, Ahaya, to other Miskana. Ashamani. And on their left. They got NASA, and I was sick of all gallons, tied by NASA, checkpoint here, checkpoint there, 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 there. From the river that we dove in the swim, we have to fight our way to the wilderness and be ready to stop. We have to fight our way to the wilderness, like with Moses. I trust him, either tar headed, I must say. After all, them ten plagues, pestilence to their cattle, boils all over their face. Don't tell God, I'm not even trying to run out of the ocean. We made it safe off the other side. I tried so hard to give up, put myself through hell. And then finally your shy says to me, it's okay, I want you to fight. But that is not for you, that is personal for me. And maybe you count that up of a hundred people here, you know. It's to do the more good and the shaman part of the ancestors. He come trip in, and it was written. Nobody I have no power to curse or bless, to heal or harm with the shaman dance. Be made strong by tobacco, which in my stomach, which was hollowed out through the um, what are they like? Parasite eating, flesh eating things of the Morgellons. And um, Ahai is in charge, so please don't try and bribe me or blackmail me. Okay, I have no power, but the power of my heavenly father, same as you, but and this of course is Star, featuring Brother Bronze, love Brother Bronze. And he, and he's, he's a really big name over at GOCC, Gavin and Christ Church. Once again, I don't represent Gavin and Christ Church. I agree with everything they stand for. They probably don't agree with some things I do, like smoking and being a woman teacher, you know. But they've been very kind to me on their comments, and the one time I went in London. But I do recommend them. And that, of course, is Song of Moses. Song of Moses. And that's on Brother Bronze's official page. And he's got 17.1k subscribers. I've got 153 now, which pleases me. I'm not a hip-hop artist. I'm not really the kind of person that ever thought they'd have a, a YouTube channel with 150 subscribers. So to some people it might not be a lot, but to me I'm very grateful. If you have a subscribe, good on you. As we say in Australia. I'm so sorry, I had my book ready. Here it is. Oh, 11.11. Ashama Tiawana Ashakana. Ahaya, we know that 11.11 is often said to be a code for Stargate's opening. Um, me and Kitten Whitepool have been sick, along with many people, with this um, Morgellons illness. There's been rumours online, and I've seen some evidence it's tied by NASA. We also know that spiritual stargates, Ashram Mani, Tiawana, open, and that the Malachi, the angels, come through. We remember when the Torah, the Saturday Sabbath reading portion, was about Jacob's ladder. That was when Yaakov, Jacob, stopped at Pinai for a rest, and while he slept, um, he saw a vision of a ladder ascending up to heaven and the Malachi, the angels of Elohim, were ascending and descending, going up and down the ladder. And um, I've heard some say, I agree, Pinai means your pineal gland, your third eye. But please be very careful. Um, I had a spontaneous Kundalini um, experience when Jesus got me off drugs. I remember my promise. I'm going to read the Psalms first with the music introduction and chit-chat after. The 26 sleeping hearts amazingly a higher god full of compassion still forgive them he covered over their sins with his aha love refusing to destroy them all over and over he held back his anger restraining wrath to show them rahim mercy psalm 78 38 Wow, that's a lot better than my words, isn't it? <laughs> it's really a shame. I love King David. A man after God's own Libby, own heart. How quickly people wander away from you. How soon they forget the epic things you've done for them. 
My Libby heart grieves for those who disregard your I have love, only reaching for you when things go bad. You care for them, yet they take it for granted. They limit you by offering worship that has no depth. They talk about you, but don't take the time to get to know you. And what Yeshaya Hamashaya, the fact Christ wants, is to adopt us as his beloved sons and daughters and cats, because he's the line of Judah. Other animals, I'm not just, you know, saying cats are the only animals that are going to survive. He wants a personal relationship with us, or uh, like a cat makes, uh, son of our relationship with us. In the Bible, the Hebrew Bible, son means um, son or daughter, I think, I'm not certain, but I'm 100% feminist that um, man means man or woman. You satisfy my deepest cry to live ever before your presence, but I want more. I want to see you clearly, Asham, Mia, reveal yourself to us with no shadow of sin to flood my vision. Reveal your combined glory, alive and powerful within me. I am yours, Ishaya. I worship you. Your I have love plays a chord within my limpy heart, rousing emotions I didn't know existed. Come closer, kiss me with unquenchable spirit fire. Burn away the barriers I've erected that would keep you out. Fill me with your righteousness so we may be one. Wow, that's absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah, and there, I did keep my promise, didn't I? What happened was an uh, extenuating circumstance. It was 11 11. If anyone knows anything more about 11 11, if you've made a video yourself and you happen to be watching my channel, um, please send me a link. Or if you've seen someone else's video, or if you have a comment to make about 11 11, whether I'm right wrong halfway in between something to add something to take away please do so i really think we need to it's we're very close to the end to the rapture and obviously even even as a lawyer and as a raha of jcc government christchurch don't know everything and we will have a part to play yes we do need um leaders and elders of course we do there's always been a place for that in the church and until the prophecy is fulfilled into isaiah when it says that the day will come that no man need to teach another, they will all know me. Until then, we will need teachers. I'm not aiming to be a big teacher because um, I'm also a prayer warrior. I also help support about um, four or five different um, personal charities like that just individuals or a couple of individuals have set up for orphans. Um, I'm on prayerrequest.com. So if you have, you know, and if you ever want a prayer request, just put on the video a request. Or, my, or send to my email and you can go to my Facebook page I haven't been on Facebook I just went on there 10 minutes ago tell a lie just to go on my messenger just to quickly say hi to about four or five of my closest friends and people need to understand as one of the chosen we're limited on time and you should be too we're meant to be redeeming the time for the days of evil not just chatting with every Tom Dick or Harry every odd put around to person Obviously, we, we want to fellowship with, with the other chosen and that all these people that are saved. And then, and and that is the first two laws, isn't it? Um, what is it? I've got the calendar up here from years ago from Gavin of Christchurch. April 13th to May 13th, but it doesn't say what the month is in the Hebrew calendar. But Matthew 22, 36 to 40. Master, which is the great commandment? In the law, Ishaya said unto him, Thou shalt love the Most High thy Elohim, thy power, with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like this Thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. On this hang all the commandments. A little bit of Morgannon's coming off my tongue. That's like a seed, you know? It. What's happening is that all the things in the Bible that we think are just metaphysical or symbolic or actually physical um, your your soul is a garden and now your body is a garden oh it's gone now it's a seed you know but now it's helping me my skin I'm not inviting anyone to feel my skin you know in, in real life not through the camera <laughs> haven't got um, virtual reality but just trust me you can probably see you know that I, I've got less wrinkles than when I started although this is quite a few more swords where the Morgellons fibres are coming out and my skin's like a baby's and the animals have got it as well and for good animals like white paw 
he's um obviously he's only a kitten so his fur is as soft as a kitten and please say little prayer he's still missing haven't seen him since about one o'clock i think he must have jumped out of the first story window and gone walk about that's what we say that's what the nungas the indigenous people of australia who are the tribe of women sometimes it just gets in their soul then the push to get up and go walk about on a spiritual journey <laughs> so maybe he's done that he's quite spiritual you know Cats and dogs, I've probably said this a couple of times, so don't get bored. Um, cats and dogs can already see into the fourth dimension because the higher, the great I am, our heavenly father, is the creator of the seen and the unseen. So when your cat or your dog is freaking out and going mad and barking and, and it's not even high on cat catnip, which is naughty, um, he's probably seen Malachi's angels or demons or jinns, they're called in Islam, you know. I also have... A message from the prophetess in Africa that I watch every night, end time something, saying that, that these lukewarm Christians that don't fear God, they're going to fear him very soon, and I, I'm going to let play that for you, because she gets nowhere near as many viewers, so I'd like to add to her viewing, and for your sakes to hear it, and for my sakes to hear it again. Thankfully, I know that I am saved. Um, I, I heard Yeshua's voice clearly, it must have been about five months ago, I was actually properly born again. A lot of Christians say they're born again because they believe in their heart, Yeshua, Jesus was raised from the dead, and they confess with their mouth. But And that is true, but you know, you have to literally really mean it. If you believe in your heart and meditate on the fact that Yeshua HaMashiach, that that Christ went through all that suffering, the physical pain, the anguish of his heart, of his soul, we know what it's like to be betrayed, let alone be betrayed like how he was betrayed by Judas. The people that he done miracles for, <coughs> turning around and calling out for his crucifixion the mocking and scoffing if you're the son of God come down from there say he saved others and he couldn't save himself you would do anything for him it says he, he said he said not he said she said he Yeshua said if you love me you'll keep my commandments if you have heard the Ruah Ahachamani Tiamana, Mother, our Mother, our Mama Shiakana, if you have our Holy Mother, the Ruah Hakadash, the Holy Spirit, then she will make it easy for you to love Torah the Lord. Okay, I'm going to go, but please, um, there was one video I made with a little less than a minute because it was a short video praying for Kitten White Paul. Please pray. Obviously, there isn't a chance that he's still in the little flat or apartment. There's one bedroom that you've probably seen on the shorts because we always make a video usually praying for the children when we go to bed. And then there's here I am now. This is the sofa. I've got the two chairs that I use as tables. And then there's like a dining room table and the lovely bay window. And then there's a ledge on the window. So he walks around it. I heard like a dead, dead devil is the word, but I call him a dead angel. And then there's a little flat roof under our bedroom window, which is just a small window where he likes to sit, you know. Very boring for a kitten to be stuck in the flat or apartment all day long. But a bathroom, we don't share a bathroom. We've got our own bath with a shower, own toilet and a little sink. And then obviously he's got his cat litter tray. He doesn't sit on the human toilet, you know. <laughs> and then a hallway. My hallway is full of um, tin food and like things to put away. Like I've just ordered a lot of stuff for a machine. Um, we all, if you've been watching my videos, you know, and I'm not stingy. I love to give to other people, and it's just a natural thing. The Lord loves a cheerful giver, that's in Psalms. And if he blesses you, I don't even have a job, but I'm sadly, not sadly for me, and not sadly hopefully for the British taxpayer, because I do give back to society through supporting Teen Challenge, which is not just for teenage drug addicts, but for drug addicts and alcohol addicts, alcohol is a drug of all ages. They have rehabs where you can go in and get clean Christian, but they're not just for Christians. And they also have um, street groups that can help you on the streets. And the other charities I support is um, Compassion. Um, I won't tell you them all because we're not meant to boast about our riches. I don't want to be like the Pharisees and blow a trumpet every time I put 10p in, in a money box, you know. But you should have told me to tell some people, especially that the government is paying, and it and um, it concerns me that even my poor support, not poor, she's lovely, my support worker, who's been great to me and supports me as a Christian, even though she's a Muslim lady, originally from Mali in West Africa, 
and she was very pleased to, to know that I knew that I think is it Timbuktu is in Mali if anyone knows um, and there were centres of great learning and scholarship there when Europe was sadly in the dark ages all the countries have had their rise and fall and now forever it will be the world will be ruled from um, by us the 12 tribes of Israel I must be the 13th tribe the tribe of Dan any Palfos tribe I know some of you brethren both Hebrew Israelites and maybe the Gentiles don't believe in me yet that's fine it took me a while to believe myself there was one hater that said I'm I'm an Isu of course I couldn't care less what he thinks it says in the Bible not all Israel are of Israel I think it was Apostle Paul said that and he longed to save all Israel and so did I and I still do when I was a Gentile and he has a video called Salvation is only for the Israelites um, Hebrew Harris and the ones that um, and my sister, oh, she's a tribe of Dan as well. The other um, tribe of Judah and the tribe of Levi, brother, other ones that commented, especially on my most popular video, a crucial message to GOCC and the Israelites and the Gentile nations that support the Christ, us with Christ were all very nice to me. I didn't know I was, oh, I didn't know I was tribe of Dan then, and and most of them supported me. What one said, no, you're you're um, EC. And, and I said, I don't blame you for thinking that, I thought that too, but I'm actually Dan. And he never answered again. But this one man the other day was really horrible. But he has the video saying, um, only Israel will be saved. And we know the Bible says in Revelations, there will be um, people of every tongue, every tribe, every nation joining the Israelites. I'm saying 13, because that's my lucky number. I know it's the number of the Illuminati, but you know, they probably copycat me. All Satan does is copycat a higher, the great I am, our Heavenly Father, and twist everything in his backwards. Um, I was thinking for a while, a lot of the New Age stuff is actually Christian, the original Christian before the, lu the lukewarm church come in, and especially the greatest disrespect after changing the holy names in the Bible and putting in pagan Jesus and God knows what, is that they changed the um, eternal covenant of the Saturday Sabbath to Sunday at 17 minutes, but I kept my promise. I, so I think some of you probably do like a bit of general chit chat because we've all got the similar things on our minds and some of you may not may not have any friends. I've got no friends in the area that are Christian. I've got a new neighbour upstairs and, and we normally chat once a day. Again, I've got loads of spare cans of food and that. You should have told me to get in when, when I got my um, back daily payment, you know. So I do well for myself, I do well for charities. Oh yeah, what I was saying about my support worker, she gets less money than me because I, I'm at Hestia House in charity. It's for people that have come out of mental health hospital or the mental health system, not come out completely, but we're in the process of getting better. And I have a great testimony to all the workers that Yeshaya or Isa, as she calls him, because he's in the Quran, as Isa, saved me and to my psychiatrist. And and now that I'm not mad, because I was demon possessed, but telling them I was with Jesus, you know, schizophrenia, that's what schizophrenia is. Schizophrenia, I'll say it again. And mental illness is caused by unrepentant sin, breaking of the Torah, and then not loving others, not loving yourself, and unhealed trauma, you know. I'm, I'm very sorry it sounds so hard, it used to sound hard to me, but now I understand it. I'm a lot better, and my heart is at peace because um, Ahaya has reassured me that he's not a fascist, he does, he's not a masochist that enjoys inflicting pain, and I know how horrible it is to if any of you probably aren't as extreme as I was, I'm very extreme in my feelings and emotions. But when I have good emotions in my love, I'm very extreme too. I might have my unconditional agape love, which all um, soldiers, saints and beloved children of the Most High are really on. We will develop that love. It seemed impossible for me, I was dead inside. So yeah, I'm sure some of you like this chit chat, but it's not fair on the people that really love Psalms. They could be at work, haven't got time to get the book of Psalms out. And they could be illiterate, not know how to how to read, you know, or um, sick in bed, and or not, maybe not have a Bible, but sharing the phone with someone, some homeless kids on the street somewhere, and they want to hear the words of King David. So, um, you know what I mean, to comfort them, they don't want to hear a ranting 54-year-old former mad woman, you know. Although at the same time, I do have interesting things to say. It all started at the recovery college for the mental health people we had there was a course called telling your story and my story was i was in the Illuminati, a secret society that um, i saw immortal technique and tupac shakar and other rappers have t-shirts with Illuminati on and we all know what the Illuminati is but now but at least you know 
that even when I was crazy and talking wrong things, I still told the truth as I believed it in my in my, in my would be in my heart. So you can see that I'm trustworthy. I will put myself to shame if it brings honour um, to my father and if it shows the person that feels worthless, that feels that God will never forgive them, if it gives the hopeless hope, I'll put myself to shame. I, I laugh at things. I laugh, don't you think I laugh at myself? Um, Self-depreciating humour. That before I was, I was very black, not, not black skin, although I have been thinking maybe the tribe of Tan was black skinned, like the tribe of um, Gad, you know, Native Americans. I heard they were once black, not red. Um, but black humour in my heart, you very hating myself and putting myself down and being sarcastic to myself and others. But now I can laugh at myself because we take ourselves too seriously. We're nothing without without Yeshaya's sacrifice. And we are kind of all, we are the, we are all it, we are, you know, amazing and incredible, extraordinary people, because I can do, and not when I say I, we can do all things through Christ, who strengthen us. Greater is he in our hearts than he that is in the world. And we know the God of this world is Satan. So yeah, miss, missing kit and white poor. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I've got, this is the lovely Ezekiel, I think he's, he's 12 now, he had a birthday. This is the lovely Yaya, she's eight now. That's from um, Compassion, Saving Children, Jesus Day. As you can see, I graffitied over Jesus and wrote Yasha, but bless them, they don't know any better. He's not gonna judge a child <laughs> for, calling, um, for calling him Jesus. When he revealed himself to me, in my soul, I didn't see him or hear it, or hear it, audible voice. He said, it's Jesus. I'm here to get you off heroin and methadone. I was an addict and he did. Now I'm addicted to um, Yeshaya first and tobacco second. So sorry, I've made a couple of videos mainly about why I still smoke. I've mentioned it in nearly every video because I feel guilty. I don't feel guilty in front of God, but I feel guilty in case anyone else is stressed or trying to give up smoking and I give them that temptation. And I just don't want people thinking bad of me because um, I'm representing Yeshaya Hamashay, you know. So if it looks like I'm doing something wrong, that kind of, I don't want anyone to think Yeshaya hasn't helped me enough, you know. Anyway, I'm going to go. I have to get back on my Twitter. I'm sending, been trying for about an hour to send some money to um, a guy at an orphanage in Uganda. Um, but a lot of these things you need um, identity. My passport's at my daughter's. I've never had a driving license. Used to steal cars in Australia, mostly with the tribe of Rubin. That's the Nungars, they call themselves Nungars. White people they call Wajalas. Women they call Yorgas. They would call me a Yorga Wajala, a white woman. Um, and they were, most of them were juvenile delinquents. And a lot of that is um, generational trauma. A lot of them are, are um, alcoholics and drug addicts, like me, that I was. Um, and obviously, now I know that Yashira is cleansing them. I haven't seen anything about it. They, they, they hardly ever travel from Australia, you know, and they're very unrepresented that in like parliament and school and teachers and things, you know, so you don't hear much about them. They have um, land rights campaigns. That The music I remember is a band called They Fix The Dress and they had a song, We Have Survived The White Man's World and The Hurt and The Torment of It All and You Can't Change That. It just makes me laugh, these racist white Christians. Not all of the Australians are like that. I have a good Australian friend on my Facebook. She's also a tribe of Dan, but a lot of them are, and they're gonna have to, and once the Nars get their act together, and the Israelites are gonna be in a place of authority. How I'm saying I'm the 13th tribe before I go is um, it's either Joseph, no, they're Joseph's sons, aren't they? Manasseh, and is it Manasseh and Ephraim? And Jacob, the granddad, you know when you put the head on the, your hands on the child's head as you're dying and do the blessing, the last blessing as the father to the son to the grandsons, he switched the hands and blessed the youngest, and he got a greater blessing. Or the eldest still got a great. Oh, here is my brother. I think he's found another um, another financial company I can use to send to send him a blessing. Because when a higher blesses you with financial benefits through the disability, because I'm not well enough to work. I've got um, arthritis as well as still a little bit of issues with demons because I am a prayer warrior um, so I can't like walk very far I've been getting my shopping on delivery you know 
and things, but it's free. You pay um, on delivery. If you pay eight pounds a month, you get you get free delivery whenever you want. So I better go and do my blessing when it, when it, your money and your children are a test for you. That's from the Quran, but it's true of Christianity and it, and Judaism. You know, you're blessed to bless others. Otherwise, he'll take your blessings away. And when you've got love in your heart, it's easy to share. Last word to my grandchildren. I think it's my little pony, the cartoon. Sharing is caring. 